G day people, this is Sharpin and here welcome you guys to episode number three of the Pokemon Snakewood Shop Arc. If you guys are excited for this episode and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you hit the like button down below for us, which is that little thumbs up down there, because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. But if you want to hit that thumbs down below, uh, make sure you leave a comment tell me why you want to leave a thumbs down, thumbs down below here. So, in the last episode, you guys, we managed to catch another uh, three Pokemon. Wait, one, two, yeah, three Pokemon. So now we have a full squad. And I'm going to say, I'm pretty happy with this team here. But there's just one thing that's bothering me. And this, this layout, I, I feel like this layout is, this whole layout is missing something. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and um, step my fingers. The layout is going to change because I've done a bit of editing. So, get with me. One. Two, three. Oh, that's what it is. I forgot about the gym badges because, you know, it's still a Pokemon Ruby hack. There's still going to be gym badges and all that in the game. So I figured why not change the layout and add gym badges to it. So um, that's the first thing. Now, the second thing we're going to do is have a shot. Because, you know, it's the shot lock can have you. And today I've got myself beautiful Melon Midori. That's what it is. So, this is normally a spirit that you, you can mix it with lemonade and all that, and we can hear some wild Pokemon in the midst of it, but, you know, it's just, just that kind of thing there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Mm, ooh, that tastes good. That does taste good. Even though I'm not much of a melon guy, um, that does actually taste pretty nice. I'm trying to make sure I don't make a mess though, so I don't get all of my equipment and everything. But, here's to you guys, here's to episode number three of the Shot Lock. Here's the episode. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, so let's go ahead and do a team recap. As you guys saw, there was a bit of a grinding montage. We went around to level 12, because we don't know what to expect from this game here. So first off, we have Pandora, the mystery egg, timid nation with the leftovers, and we looted off a dead corpse in the last episode as well. You know, go figure. Well, with Leaf, Life, and Harden. And then next we have Peek Peek! We've got Ash the Pikachu, the latest, the newest member to our team, added at Nature. Uh, unfortunately, it's not Gen 4, so there can't be a split of electric, physical, electric special. Uh, with Thundershock, Quick Attack, Thunder Wave, and Tail Whip. Next we have our Beautifly. As you can see, it was a Wormful in the last episode, but now it is an adamant Beautifly. Uh, with Tackle, Poison Sting, Absorb, and String Shot. Then next we have our starter, Dervish the Boltoid, chosen by you guys, uh, with Side Beam, Confusion, Sand Tomb, and a Rapid Spin. Then next we have the Kid, the Kid, another timid natured uh, Pokemon here with Headbutt, Tackle, Growl, and Tailwind. And then finally we have Acorn the Sea Dot, uh, with Bind, Growth, and Heart. And honestly, Sea uh, Dot has to be one of the worst Pokemon to off with because. All it has is Bite on Nuzlocke, it's the absolute worst Pokemon to have because you can't really attack with it. So, yeah, go figure. So, we're going to go ahead and get this episode started now. We've got this zombie up here, and based on the fact, let me just quickly check some defenses for a second. So, Pandora seems to be our most defensive mon, 18 defense, 18 special defense. Uh, wow, actually, Beautiful has 19 defense, and Boltoid is 22. To, wow, okay, uh... Alright, well, what we're going to do is we're going to take the leftovers of the Pandora, because I really thought Pandora was going to be the most offensive one, but it turns out that uh, Dervish is really our um, most offensive one here. Now, I want to go through something with you guys about my bag. Now, as you can see, I have a whole lot of medication. Now, I do apologize if that annoys you, but in this game, I've been told that there aren't a lot of shops around, so I thought I would just... Sell, get a lot of light potions I could, sell them to the Larry the Ludo, or the market guy, or whatever. And then I went back to Old Air Town, bought lemonades, to make sure I had enough potions to get through the game. Because my rules, like I said at the start of the last episode, is that I will only heal a maximum of twice per battle potion heal. Stat heal I can do as many as I want. But, you know, it doesn't matter how many potions I have because, you know, I've only got two heals. That's just my personal rules of Nuzlocke, it's just to make it more challenging. And I'm sorry if it bothers you, but this is just the way I'm going to play it. If you don't like it, then I do apologize. And there's other channels that I hope, or I can, 
Well, I hope you stick around, but if you don't like the channel, that's fine. You can go find someone else that can uh, appeal to your needs as a YouTube viewer. So, we're going to go ahead and just go through here. Alright, so, we've got this guy here. What the? I'm really a little bit nervous, guys, but we'll see how we go here. Ugh, the pain. Young one, your body looks in better shape than this decrepit one. I shall possess you instead. Uh, no. That sprite though, holy fuck. Hound sour. Oh! Why did you do the hound door? What is wrong with you? Why? Why is it decapitated? What the fuck? If you guys are wondering why I'm freaking out, Hound Doom and Hound Door are my favourite dark types. Why the fuck would you do that? Holy shit! Oh, and I actually forgot to swap around the Pokemon. Oops. Alright, well, we're here now. Let's go for a little attack plus. Okay. Uh, we're gonna crit though, let's go. Uh, Glare, that's fine. Leah. Ember. Oh, wait, my bug. Fuck, I forgot about that. Alright, let's swap over to Dervish now. Alright, let's go for a Santu. Alright, so. Oh! Fuck, fuck you, creator, man. Don't fucking do that to Houndoom and Houndor. Um, I can only imagine Houndoom would be the same, but fuck off. That is bullshit. Dirt Crow. Okay, I'm assuming that's a uh, Honscrow, uh, Honscrow, uh, Murkrow, so I'm going to swap over to Ashia. Man, come on though, man, why, why are you going to do Houndle like that, man, seriously? Oh, and no, I was correct, it is a Murkrow, what the hell though? Okay, I personally don't like this Dirt Crow, I personally prefer the original. We're going to go for a Thunderstruck, we do our speed, which is good. And it's not even, yo, it's not even half, what the fuck? And he's going to glare us. Okay, so... We're going to go ahead and Thunder Wave. Peck. Okay, that's... We're good there. Alright, we Thunder Wave him. That's good. We're going to go for a quick attack because... Okay, we just get paralyzed. Okay, that's that's cool. That's cool. Uh, let's go for a Thunder Shock. Almost kill it. Alright, we're going to go ahead and heal just because I don't want to stand a crit. Oh, but he's going to heal too. That's great. Yeah. And we get paralyzed again. Come on now. Come on now. Alright, so we should start our speed, so we're going to go for... Ah, uh, wait, 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 no, 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 you know what, you know what, I'm going to use my second heal, just to be safe, I don't like crits. So we're going to go for a quick attack, and we get powers again, and he gets a crit. Really? Uh, let's swap into the coon. Okay, we shoot our speed, we do, get the headbutt off. Oh, my god, people! Ah, ugh, such strength. We demons may possess corpses, but we are honorable. You have defeated me, and so I shall warn you that stronger demons than I look ahead in the city you call Rustboro. The corpse crumbled into dust. The demon filtered, flitted back into the netherworld. Okay. Okay, I'm just pissed off because of what they've done to Houndall. Man, what did Houndall do to deserve that? I mean, come on, dude. Why? What's this? Lose the stone badge. What? That was the first gym leader? I thought the first gym leader was in Rustboro. Like, uh, what's her name? Freaking. Oh, what's her fucking name? Oh, no, no, freaking. Oh. It will come to me, but uh, what the fuck? This badge, it seems familiar. I think I remember something. Oh, it's a flashback. I can feel a flashback. See, look at this. This stone badge raises the attack of my Pokemon. I got it from Gym Leader Roxanne. That's her fucking name, Roxanne. I couldn't think of it. Ugh. That flashback hurt my brain. But I remember where this comes from. But oh, these come from. These Gym Badges, the Gym Leaders have them. And the Gym Leaders are strong. So what could have possibly happened to Rossboro that even the Gym Leader was defeated? I'd better investigate. With extre <coughs> excuse me, extreme caution. Yes, uh, no doubt. Well, let's go ahead and uh, go back and heal. Man, that battle was intense, let me tell you. But I understand, like, if he didn't catch the, um, if I didn't catch Pikachu, I really would have struggled with that matchup because you guys saw that Peck did a lot of damage just to my 
um, you know, my Zeke's goon. And if I, um, if that would have been a crit or anything else, I would have been completely fucked over. So, we're going to go ahead and put Dervish now up front because that's what we're supposed to do. The Shroomish here? They're going to Pikachu. I'm not going to complain about that. Not one bit. We're going to fucking Pikachu. Pikachu! Alright, so let's go. I'm going to die. I can feel the poison chilling my blood and turn my brain to soup. Ugh. And disappears. Rest in pieces. Alright, so... I think it's the item here. We got a Pokeball. Great. Now we've got another item here. It's an Ether. I love them Ethers. Alright, so let's go over here. Normally I just know because there's empty... Most of the time there's empty places. Oh, there's another demon. Uh, well, now that we're healed, let's actually go ahead and see if he's got himself another hound sow for us to go. Mmm, a juicy body. Ride for the taking. Uh, how about no? Demon Course Andromalius. Uh, excuse me a second, folks. I'll be right back. Let's talk about the guys, you know, phone call from the mum, you know. It's your mum, you got an answer. So we have Demon Corpse Andromalius here. Who is a secret egg. Is that like my mystery egg? Alright, let's go for a... Saiyan Tomb. Let's see how much damage we can do, because... Oh, we missed Saiyan Tomb! Oh, even better! Alright, he's gonna go for Harden. Alright, let's go for... Why am I... Leech Life? Oh boy, yeah, he does have that. Cybeam? You got the confusion, though. Oh, god damn it, this is gonna take a long time. We are missing. What the fuck? Side beam! Off one sand attack. Are you serious? Now, you know what? Fuck this. We're gonna bring in Jesse. We're gonna go for a poison thing and just poison this bitch. Poison! Poison the bitch! There we go. The poison has set in. And that's how we do it. Alright! No, I've been driven out! Curses, you've banished me. The corpse turned to dust and flitted back to the netherworld. Where you fucking belong, you bitch. Alright, so we've got trees to be cut here. Metal kit. Yay! So let's go ahead and head out of this, this, this building. And this is what? Okay, I don't know why that happened, but okay. Alright, so... There's a Pikachu head on the stake! What the fuck? The severed head of the Pikachu has been mounted on the stake. Move the dead Pikachu. Okay, well, can someone go to leftovers from the- I'm not going to say no. A super potion. Okay, that's fair. The seven head of a Pikachu has been mounted- oh, I might do it again. Cherry berries. Yep, that sounds good. And orange berries. Now, this does count as the same route as before. Wear my pale? Great. Oh, there's another medical kit. Alright, well, we already healed, so we don't need to do that. So, we can't really catch another Pokemon on this route here because it's the same one. And we found another Pokeball. Coolies! Another life potion. Nothing there. A super potion. All these super potions, man. They're just, they're just begging to be found. Alright, nothing there. And we've got a wingle here. I don't want no business of that. Alright, so there's nothing there. We'll just get out of here. Alright, so let's just proceed. Oh, hello. Hey, zombie! Hey, I'm not a zombie! Do I look like a fucking zombie to you? Stupid bit. Puchana. Ooh, now we can't really touch this. So. Let's go to Pandora. Uh, we'll go for some Leech Lights because they are super effective against a Puchiana. And it doesn't matter about your sand tax, can we still hit through that? BITCH! Alright, so let's go ahead and put you up there just in case. But I feel like the double battle is coming along because I saw two zombies paired up in the top right hand corner. You're a trainer. You can help us citizens across Burrowout. Go to the city and bring us some of the demons. If it'll help, please take this team 9 Thanks, lady. I definitely will. Go on, help and save us. All right, let's go ahead to a team of nines. Grass whistle. Uh, can anyone learn grass whistle? Um, acorns can learn it, and Pandora can learn it. Um, well, there's no disadvantage of us teaching it to Pandora, and Pandora now has grass whistle. Might as well. Ha! Zombies can't crush running water, so I'm safe on this bridge. Is this true? I, magic up level 19. Okay. Uh, let's go for a side beam. Side beam. Side beam. Another magic up. Side beam. Side beam. Side beam. And how's such a confusion? Ha <laughs> ha! Bitch! 
and Dervish is level 13. Let's go. Magic card. Let's go ahead and bring out Pandora. 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 Wow, he's not doing anything. Put him to sleep. Leech life. Leech life. Leech life. We're going to suck the life out of this magic card. Let's do this, bitches. Three, two, one. Just enough. 15 leech lives. Just enough for this Pandora to take it out. What the fuck? That's kind of ridiculous. That's crazy there. Now, the fact that Pandora couldn't actually... Well, I mean, it had to freaking waste 15 Leech Lives to skill the level 19 magic card. That's insane. Alright, so... What we got here? Bah! Okay, so it's another zombie. Zombie kid. Harvey! Hey, Harvey! It's a Rockmander. Alright, now... That's not a good matchup for us. So, we're going to go ahead and swap out for... The coon. Let's go for a headbutt. Headbutt. That's it. Freaking critted. A grave All right, now Pandora can take on that. Grave All right, let's go for a grass whistle. And yes, of course we do. There we go. We land. Leech life. Leech. Life. He won't up. Come on, man. Leech grass whistle. Keep him asleep, dude. That's the whole point of teaching you this move. Seven leech life left. We got, we got this. We got this. Gah! There's only two crumbles of dust. Alright, so we've got this item over here. And we've got two kids trapped behind trees. Okay. But we're gonna go back down to that bag and heal. Oh, we've got berries. Cherry berries that cures paralysis. And lapa berries which cures 10 pp. So let's just go over here and heal back up because we just don't know what we're going to expect people and I really don't want to know. I really don't want to know. So it's going to... Oh yeah, we can't run inside so we have to use the speed up button. But now we can run outside. I know you guys don't like the speed up sound. I do apologize. Uh, so, our question of the day is what is something that scares you either before or has scared you... Scared you before or scares you now? And uh, I hate jump scare movies. I fucking hate jump scare movies with a passion. If you want to piss me off, make me watch it. Because I just jump. People watch me more than a scary movie. Because I jump more times than ever. Grah. Rogue. She a frog? The zombie duo Doug and Lola would like to battle. Dribble score and entry tool. Okay! Let's go for a Grass Whistle on the Entrail Tool, and let's go for a Psy Beam on the Beam Tool. Super effective! Bubble, uh-oh. Dervish. Okay, he's got this. Alright, we put him to sleep there, that's good. Alright, so now we're going to go for Leech Lives on the Entrail Tool, and the Psy Beam should finish off the Shriver Tool. Alright. He's asleep now. Terrific. Alright, let's go for Leech Life and another side beam. Finish it off. He woke up. Uh-oh. Uh, Leech Life and side beam. And Travel Tool goes down. Woo! And Pandora's level 13. Let's go. Grrr. Growl. The zombie crumbles into dust. Okay. Alright, let's quickly go back and heal because, again, I ain't taking the chances on nothing today. Not a chance in hell. Oh, hello. There's a little head here. Um, it's alive? Rawr! Are you serious? We're fighting a head now? Oh. <laughs> Seven head Benji would like to battle. What the fuck, dude? Get off your... Man. I, I. Someone told me about this! Zombie fight Jinx, what the fuck? Okay, that is fucking terrifying, I swear to god. Alright, let's go for a grass whistle. As power snow. Ooh, that's gonna hurt like a bitch. Grass whistle. That did 17 damage, what the fuck? Alright, we're getting our health back there, that's good, that's good, that's good. He wakes up, Oh. Uh... Alright, we should be able to live even a crit goes for a pound. Okay. <sighs> Alright, so we're taking care of that. Um, I don't know what to do. Go back and heal. Go back and heal. Go 
Let's just go back to heal. I'm, not, I'm sorry for the repeated heals, but man, that fucking why? Oh, what the fuck? All right, so all right, let's go and see what's inside this building here. A demon and a head. Well, that demon did have a dirt crow before, and and an egg. But I know Pikachu could probably be the best matchup for it. So let's just. Yeah, a new body for me. Demon course or a bus wants to battle. Don't go. Oh, I was right. 16? Oh, this is not cool. This is not cool. Attack plus. Alright. One time shock. Pursuit did 14 damage, so we should be able to live another one. We flinch! What the fuck, you bitch! And we got the static off. Alright, good. Thundershock. Oh my god! What the fuck? So we almost lost Pikachu, and that attack plus the game in the first turn almost took Pikachu. Level 13. Alright. Oh! I can't handle this! Seriously! You, you exercise me. The corpse crumbled to dust. The demon flitted back into the netherworld. Alright. Um. Oh, the kid's got an item. What do you got? Super potion. Alright. Um. Well, I don't want to verse that head right away because of that last paper. Oh! I thought it was the Cutman's house. Okay, we've got a Pokemon Center that saves me having to go all the way back. This used to be the Cutman's house, but I think the demon's got him. Where did they take his team? Hey, Chen's, I wonder. And what happened to his daughter? Did he have a daughter? I can't remember. Hey, kid, you're a trainer, right? Then maybe you can use this. It's a mush mask. Cool, thanks, guy. Mush mask. What the fuck is a mush mask? It's a key, I don't know. Uh. Did you give me a mush mask? Where the hell's a mush mask? Oh, it is a key item. A mask of a mushroom head. Okay. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and see what that, that head's all about. Because I mean that head is just begging to be looked at. Rah! Okay, it's another Okay. Seven Head Kent wants to battle. Has another eye eye. Alright, so first of all, let's go for a Thunder Wave. It has Power Stone. Uh oh. Please don't do too much damage, please. That did 17 damage. Okay, no, that is way too close to call. Okay, so we brought in uh, Pandora because Pandora, you know. Leech life, leech life, leech life, leech life. Pandora's level 14, great. And let tackle. Oh, terrific. I, I, uh, yeah, we'll keep you in. Um, we'll go for a grass whistle. Oh, please, 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 please. Frozen! Are you serious? What the fuck, you cunt! Oh my god! First heal. We're gonna use. We have to use a snake oil because there's nothing that we could use to get this out. Okay, now we have to use a second heal. Oh my god, that is man, that is some bullshit if I ever saw it. Let's go for grass whistle. All right, that is some bullshit right there, man. He got the freeze. That is some bullshit. Oh boy. Critical hit! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, what a load of fucking bullshit that is. What the fuck? Oh my god, man. If we didn't hit that crit, we'd be in a little bit of trouble. Because that, that freaking thing hits like a truck. Uh... Alright, so let's put you down here. And let's put uh, the coon out... Actually, yeah, we'll put the coon out front. Give everyone a little bit more training and everything else, but I think we might have to do another grinding montage or what have you. Uh, let's check out uh, what you got there. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Oh, it's Alicia! Hello! <clears throat> I'm surprised you got this far. I thought the demons I left behind the woods would have taken you down. What? You're working with them? Did my training class give it away? I'm a death caller, a servant of Lord Gravetree. Who's that? 
Why should I tell you anything? But since my demons couldn't get rid of you, I guess I'll have to into instead. Alright, so Death Call Alicia is back and has a Sable Eye. Alright, well, I don't think he has any moves that can touch us, so I think we could go ahead and just keep going for Growls. Growl, 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 growl. He's just going to keep leering me, but he's got nothing that can touch me. Oh, he does have something he can scratch. Okay, so we got rid of his attack. Uh, who should we bring in now? Uh, he's got no attack, so... But there's nothing really that we hit it with, except maybe Pikachu, Dervish, or whatever. Alright, we'll bring in Pikachu, just because I don't want to take any chance. But then there was no point of growling. I guess there is a point of growling. Uh, we get the thumb shot though, let's go. Shop it. Uh... Shop it. Man, what's with all these ghost types here? Seriously. Thumb shock. Knock off. And static. BITCH! BITCH! And Pikachu's level 14. Sneasel. Alright, now we're going to bring in the Pandora, because no one wants to bring on Sneasel. Level 15! Okay, these Pokemon stuff at kind of levels here. Okay, I get that. Ah, oh, Grass Whistle. Fuck, he taunted me. Fuck! I should have actually recalled that from last episode. Well, the first time we fought. Yo, what the fuck? Lemonade. That did 21 damage. What the fuck? Quick attack. Oh! And we defeated. What the fuck? I lost to you. Who else? Whatever. I've already summoned up a good a goodly number of demons. Goodly is a word. I'll just go back to Burden Turf and file my report. Alright, so you know, just uh just a friendly day of fucking zombie hunting, why the fuck not? Alright, let's just head up oh, what's this zombie over here? This is this another battle? A human like you? It'd be beneath me to even consume you. Well, fuck you too. God damn. Oh, what's happening? Oh, boys. More story. Dude, we haven't hit all the story today. <clears throat> He's late. This is not acceptable. Coming, master. Ah, it's another one of these zombie dudes. You are an unacceptably late, Dantalion. I apologize, Master. This body is rather slow. It is a result, I believe, of the legs having been removed. Make sure you require another suit. I will require you to be at your best when we challenge them. You mean the f Don't mention their names! Beings of such power as they can hear their name whispered over many miles. I don't wish to bring upon down their wrath upon us before we are ready. Yes, Master. Be silent! Although I have cloaked us in a field of invisibility, the demons of this place will hear us if we do not keep our voices down. I found the vessel that is summoning them. However, it is in a cave to the northeast of here. Together we will dismantle it. Yes, Master. What was that? Who were they? Something about them felt familiar. Is it possible that I've met them before? And how is it possible that I could see them when plainly no one else could? I guess it doesn't matter. If they're going to stop these horrific demons, then they're my allies. I better go and help them. I might even get some answers to the bar the bargain. That, that's a that's a pretty uh pretty on the mark there. These zombies in the pen down there, they're food for us dear. By the way, that's a lovely body you managed to get yourself. Hardly a scratch on it. Uh yeah. <laughs> I'm talking to a fucking lovely, what the fuck? Alright, I really wanna find out this guy's deal is. What's that? I sent a presence. You What are you doing here? What? Don't pretend to be confused. You can't fool me, even disguised as you are. Um, who the fuck are you? I've lost my memory and you look familiar. I'm Sharpino, by the way. Can it be? I do not believe this to be a lie. Hmm. Very well, you may call me Gleese. It seems I have mistaken you for someone else. You must possess an uncommonly strong second sight in order to be able to see me. And I only know one other human with that power. That is where my confusion arose from. I'm assuming it's my uh, brother, you know, because why else would you confuse them with someone else? Uh, I see. Um, I overheard you earlier saying that you were going to destroy that thing that was making the demons appear, and I want to help. I came here to look for my brother and his girlfriend, but an old woman asked me to drive the demons away. So I said I would, and well, I'm going to. So let me help. Hmm. You look strong, yes, but I'm not sure you're quite up to the task. If you please, may I test you, test you first to see if you will be of any aid? Of course. Then let's begin. Alright, so we're taking on this guy here. 
We've seen level 16, that's the highest level we've seen so far. Taoist Glees. I will say that Sprite is pretty dope though. And he has a, a face leech, and it has Deoxys' cry. Okay, I don't trust this one bit. Uh, only because it's a psych. I believe, think it's a psychic type because it just looks like Deoxys. I'm gonna go ahead and swap into Dervish and go for Poison Bane. There's a Poison type, and that did a lot of damage. And it has Speed Boost. Really? All right, Leftover is gonna kick in here. All right, so we should be able to live. We're gonna go for a Side Beam here. He's gonna go for another poison fang. Please don't kill. But I mean, I'm only using side beam just because I saw it use poison fang. Oh, oh. Okay. Fuck that guy. And Coon's level thirteen. And what's the name? Sand attack. Well, it's better than uh, Growl. So yeah. And Dervish level fourteen. All right. The big Taylor's Gleese. Well done. You will make a useful ally. Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate that. Very well. You may accompany me. I shall now heal your Pokemon. Thanks, Gleese. You're cool. My servant Dantaline is waiting at the cave at the cave mouth to the east. I'll go and join you. When you've prepared yourself, please join us and I will explain what must be done. Okay, so. Now we have ourselves a new route, Route 116 over here. Uh, oh shit, we actually... Alright, so we'll go ahead, get our encounter, and I think we'll call it an episode after that, because we... Oh! Encounter is... It's a ta Level 16 Taylor? Yo, that is higher level than all my Pokemon! What the hell? Let's go for a headbutt. Oh, focus energy. Oh, I don't like that. Oh boy. Okay, I don't like that, I don't like that, uh, go for pick. Alright, let's go for Thunder Wave. Okay, that makes it pretty moot. Uh, let's go ahead and heal with Lemonade on Pikachu. Alright, uh, let's go for a, let's go for a Great Ball, because I don't want to take any chances on a Taylor here. Especially when it's level 16. Although it's pretty cool, we found level 16 though, but what the fuck? We found level 16, it's stronger than any Pokemon on our team here. Gotcha, Taylor's caught. Taylor's data was added to the Pokedex. Taylor, the tiny swallow Pokemon. Taylor correctly stands its ground against foes, however strong they may be. This gutsy Pokemon will remain defiant even after a loss. On the other hand, it cries loudly if it becomes hungry. Like most people. Uh, Taylor, are you male or female? You are male. I'm gonna call you... I call my male Taylor... Arrow. I think Arrow's a cool name. Alright, so what we're going to do now, we're going to head back to the PC here. I think I'll get my Pokemon trained up a little bit because I'm getting kind of scared. We've seen 16 and 17 so far. I really feel like uh, level, I think 18 will be not too bad. Also, I'm going to go ahead, I know, okay, don't get mad at me for doing this, but because, like, honestly, all right, first let's have a look at Taylor. Lonely Nature with Guts and everything else. So that's that's uh, pretty cool. Pet, Focus Energy, Quick Attack. I'm going to go ahead and swap out the Talo for the Acorn. Just because Acorn's not really doing anything, it really can't do anything because all it has is Bite and all that. So, maybe later on when we get some Grass type moves or anything, I might go ahead and use him, but... Um, <clears throat> until then, I just feel like we're not going to be using him just because he can't really do anything. He, I mean, he's becoming more of a liability beating our team because he can't do anything except Bite. So... In the spirit of trying to, I would say, have a strong team, I'm going to go ahead and just leave him in the PC. Maybe later on we'll use him, but for now we'll use Taylor. So, I will say uh, thank you for watching this episode. This episode is a bit longer than expected. I do apologise, but if you enjoyed it, terrific. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit like button down below for us, because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. And next episode, we're going to be fighting some demons. So, we'll get everyone, like I said, train up to level 18. I think that should be a good call for levels and all that. And we'll see how we go uh, from there. So, until the next time I see you guys, uh, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later.